Hey, what's up? It's Bernard. I'm back with an update to the video I made before about removing noise from the Game Boy Advance. In case you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. But in that video, I just go over some of the more recent audio mods for the Game Boy Advance, including Angry Helder's GBA Power Cleaner, as well as the Funny Playing brand GBA Speaker. In the last video, I left off saying that I could change the capacitor configuration, and that would include increasing the capacitance at CP2 and at CP4 to 220 microfarads, as well as adding this solid state polymer 680 microfarad cap uh, to the legs of CP1. So I went ahead and did that, and I do think that there is some noticeable difference. And now I'll just play back some line-out recordings that I took of this mod completed, and then I will compare that to uh, the recordings I did of the last Game Boys that were not modded with these different capacitors at CP2, CP1, and CP4. <laughs> That does seem to remove some of this wobbling white noise that you get when installing an IPS kit. It's not super significant, but it's there. Not sure if it's worth it for everyone because it's not really something that you hear during gameplay, but if you're looking for that sort of cleanest signal that you can get, I think this is the best we can get right now. So in the last video, I came to the conclusion that I preferred the one watt replacement speaker instead of the Funny Playing branded one, but after doing a bunch of mods over the past, I don't know, month or so, I've grown to prefer the Funny Playing speaker. And I think the reason why I like the one watt replacement speaker so much is one, I was used to it because I was using it for basically every mod. And two, I was only testing on one song, basically, Mega Man, Battle Network 2's title theme because it just slaps. Just remember that that's more like synthy bleep bloop electronic type of music. But I think some of the more common games that people play uh, have a lot of like orchestral music. The OEM speaker and the funny playing speaker just bring out those kinds of wind instruments and strings a little bit better compared to the one watt replacement speaker which seems to excel at electronic synthetic types of sounds. I think most people might prefer the funny playing speaker and I'm starting to lean towards that direction too. Let's do a couple of quick comparisons and we'll play some Pokemon Ruby, just the title intro. The music in it is more orchestral and I think the funny playing speaker does it uh, a bit more justice. So I'm gonna hold it where I would be playing and we'll just start here. Okay, so that was at max volume on the Funny Playing Speaker with all those mods. To compare, let's do the one mod replacement speaker playing Pokemon Ruby as well. And you could already hear it has that more treble heavy sparklier chime. Okay, so that was Pokemon Ruby's intro on the one mod replacement speaker, just the generic one that you've seen around. Just for comparison's sake, let's do Pokemon Ruby in a GBA with all the mods that the other two have, except I'm keeping the OEM speaker here. Okay, that was, um, that sounded surprisingly good. Better than I remember. I'm just gonna listen back to them one more time to make sure I'm not crazy because that sounded really good. So I have all of them playing at the same time.
Okay, so you heard all three Game Boys with their different speakers, and it's time to go over which one was which. The first one was actually the OEM speaker, and it was surprisingly good. So this one to me, it just has like a nice, rich, warm tone to it. And I think so long as like your speaker still works, uh, you're probably good with it. It's very common for them to, you know, get corroded or dirty or like rusted or whatever, and they just don't work. And that's why it's compelling to look at some of these aftermarket replacements, because for some people, their speaker just like, just doesn't work after, you know, 20 years or whatever. The next one I used was this one with the one watt replacement speaker. So this one had like that, you know, shinier, more trebly kind of sound signature. It, it's not that it sounds bad uh, for this kind of music. Like I, I keep referring to it as like orchestral. A lot of video games that use strings and wind instruments and that sort of thing, it can kind of get fatiguing listening to on the one watt replacement speaker just because it is so sparkly and treble forward. So that leaves the Funny Playing Brand speaker as the last speaker that was shown in this demo. It, it has that richness, um, and it, but it doesn't have that fatigue to it. It sounds pretty good and closer to the OEM speaker than the one mod replacement speaker does. If I had to rank them, I would say if you have a good original speaker, that's probably still the best. Not only in how it sounds, but just like what people remember as an authentic GBA experience. Uh, next would be probably the funny playing speaker, just because I think it's closest to that original listening experience, but it's more commonly available and it specs well, it fits the shell properly, um, and it's not that much more expensive than the one mod replacement speaker. And then lastly, the one mod replacement speaker would come in last place just because it could be fatiguing for some people, especially if you're sensitive to like sibilance and treble. And the fitment of the the speaker in the shell isn't quite ideal and there aren't really good aftermarket 3D printable brackets for that thinner one watt replacement speaker. If you want to avoid that rattling sound, I wouldn't go with the one watt replacement speaker anyway. And while I was messing with these speakers, a bonus update, I found that the funny playing speaker fits in a Game Boy Color and it doesn't rattle at all. It like friction fits perfectly and it works. Sounds good. I hope you found this video helpful for all of you looking to get the cleanest sound out of your Game Boy Advance. Let me know in the comment which speaker sounded best to you. Before, I thought it was the one mod replacement speaker, but after listening to all three with the mods fully completed, I'm starting to change my mind. It's a lot closer than I would have expected. I think they all sound great. It really depends on what you're looking for. So I'm curious what everyone else thinks. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.